He must just shit. Oh god, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like I mean, like, at that point, you're like literally Rock Lee, and I don't even think that's legal. <laughs> You'll, you'll disconnect your, your ankle or something. Looks like we're going right into game one for losers top six. Yes. UMass Boston's Nuggets and Kuma up against Dajob, Laid, and Maddie G. And this is a slight change of pace. We're seeing, we've seen a lot of characters from Maddie G this time. We're seeing the Fox. Pretty interesting. Laid sticking with the Lucina, though. As Kuma is as well, which I was surprised to see or delighted to see throughout the bracket today. Yeah, he, he did Lucina uh, a little later on in the beginning. He did try that Pichu out, right. um, but probably got to a point where it was a little bit too crusty to hang with the best. Understandable. You, know, you got to see if it can hang, but if it can't, move on to the good tried and true methods. And Lucina definitely now, one of them. This a, that's a fox? Yeah. The, the Matthew G. Fox. This is the first time I'm seeing it. I like it. Fox is sick. He's on through the crown right? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, that's, no. That must be a, that's a stitch. Yeah, that's a stitch, man. Right? He went flying so far like that had to be a stitch. Right, right. Oh god. Still stitch. got it in hand, too, but the shield is going to come out. All right. And just kind of throw ahead that stitch and just go for the blender, get that damage, track it up. You know how it be. Oh, all right. Some pretty good conversions from the LT. Not getting all the ones that they need to take the stocks, but still keeping it close. You know, something I always notice that Kool-Aid always goes through phases of Ratchet, right? The last time right. I, I saw Kool-Aid, his... A uh, whole thing was, let me do uh, the Pug West from Smash 4, where you do the jump, instant, dancing blade, one, and then right. to Falling Nair, and then you try to get conversions like that. Bro, Nuggets, though, real quick, had the sick roll read back air to take that stock from Maddie G, and now Reggie looking really good, honestly. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they, uh, you know, we got two stocks of for everyone on screen, but we do have some damage true, true. onto Kool-Aid right now. And he's in an Edgar scenario right here as well, but looks like he's going to go ahead and get the, the assist from Maddie G. Yeah, good coverage from Maddie G. No one oh. lays in a rough spot, and that stock is the difference between the, the yellow team lead and the red team lead, obviously. But oh, what, what, what were you trying to do? What, what was he trying to do? <laughs> he's trying to help out his boys in the red team, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was already wild enough that he was trying to uh, two-frame uh, uh, Dolphin yeah. Slash with a one-frame move. But <laughs> <laughs> Some wild stuff. But I, they're still picking it up, the conversions from the yellow team, kind of evening it back up, but they're going to need to take the stock soon. Oh, that okay. was barely. Yeah. Close, but no, no cigar now. We got everyone going for the pairs. Everybody wants a piece. Oh, beautiful jump right over that as well from Kuma. And Kuma is... Lucina has actually impressed me quite a bit today. I don't get to see Kuma very often just because I'm always in mass. And he just right. doesn't come out uh, fairly often at all. So I've been seeing a, what makes him such a great player as well. Definitely. And it's so great to see him play all these different characters as oh. well. Nuggets with a nice weak back here. Try and extend the edge guard, but Maddie G finally making it back on stage. What's the play? Oh, okay. I like that dash attack coming True. up from Maddie G there. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm liking this, this box overall. It's definitely a... Uh, not something I'm used to seeing, but it's definitely holding its own. Yeah, honestly, it's the, the difference between, again, the, the solid red team lead and the yellow team lead. It's going to be even up. 57% on lead, just the difference right now. It's going to be all about who takes this next stock for sure. It's just swinging and swinging. There we go. Four airs across the bat. You know, you're going to have two scenes on the screen. You're going to see a whole lot of those juggles as well with the up airs. All right, but lead wrestling stage control from red team. Yellow team now in the driver's seat. Bakuma does the same thing right back. Okay. Oh, I guess, you I know, like sometimes that. you start off the Dancing Blade and you're like, I'm not going to finish it. And yeah, you, yeah. you bait out a, a cheeky option and then you're able to punish that. Yeah, man, G looking for a hit but can't get it. Lady getting beat up off the side of the stage with a big back here. Opens him up. Oh, oh my no. god. You just hear the sounds of <laughs> dolphin slashes and just big old dash attacks <laughs> and Fox and everything Peach does. Oh, that can kill? Oh, oh wow. The yeah, item looked great there, though, but it looked like it went straight up, not to the left. Um, but now it's all up to Yell Team. Go ahead and try to close this out. This could be doable, though, for Kuma. My oh, man, Kuma on the ledge. Can he get it? Oh, okay. Almost. <laughs> he just give him the back here, let him know. Gotta stay on his toes. That's not good. What's he gonna do? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's like, ah, I want to use this armor somehow. What throw can I do to not get killed here? Uh, it looks like the answer is none. As Maddie G goes ahead and punishes with a forward smash, I believe. Close out that game one. And see, that's understandable. If you're not experienced with that situation, the time he can throw you off, the grab armor can kick in, maybe mm -hmm. it's good. But the veterans know, like, I'll just wait it out. I'll wait till the throw's done. There's a lot of cooldown on a lot of those throws. And I'll just punish with the forward smash after the fact. Bro, what, what is, is that, that? water that's bottle? That's What is that water bottle? <laughs> All right, so, like, there's a sign on the front door that says no outside food and drink. There's no way he snuck that in. I mean, it's water, though. Or is it? Well, I mean, you get the parole officers here, so it has to be right. water. <laughs> There's just no way it's anything else. Right? But I mean, the, the thing that's wild to me is just like, I've seen people kind of get those like uh, pull and spring, like 
jugs? Yeah, the five or the one gallon. The right. one gallons, right? And then I'm like, five all right, gallons. cool, that makes sense. But then I'm like, this this was like a bottle. Like yeah, it's like true, I don't, true. It's very like it was very slender. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, well, hopefully we'll find out more uh, about the Girl lore. That one a little weird. <laughs> but we're going back into a town city. No changes here. Sticking with the fox, which is a little mixed of surprising and not at all. Yeah, we're gonna see. It's already starting off to, you know, separate 1v1s on the right side here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have Puma getting some damage on the Magic. Oh Ooh. my god, that killed so early! Four. Flambo, okay, answers right back on the 23% Gimp. Lost his jump at some point. What a wild start to the match. 20 seconds in. I mean, I know Fox is a light character, but damn, bro. True, true. I was not expecting that. All right, Magic wrestling back, but now actually Kool Aid gonna give it up. Red team with stage control. Here we go, I like this. Dash attack and Maddie, so good. If there's anything that Maddie's good at, no matter what character he's playing, this is his ability to follow up. Once yes. he gets himself into that advantage stage, he has his opponent in the punish game. Man, oh man, does he ride that train to the last stop? True, and he's so good at sort of like making sure they're running out of options and then punishing them when they're out. Very smart stuff. Back to the 1v1s here. Looking good for Yellow Team, honestly. Yep, they punish. King Slice, Deli. <laughs> Lade was a little too patient. Oh my god, Kuma found a punish, now getting some stage control back to what the play is. And I like that from Kuma as well. He recognizes, all right, if I see anyone charging a smash attack by the lead, I can just always go for that get up attack because it's fully invincible. Don't gotta worry about it. That was so smart from Lade. Just poking nuggets out of the float, making sure Maddie can try and get back to the stage, not for long. Gonna be another back throw. Booty, perfect tech. Good tech. Oh no. Okay, he's gonna, oh no, he didn't grab ledge either. Oh man, so that's kind of like a waste of time. Yeah, and it almost killed late in the process too. So gonna make it back. Looking for that back air though. Yeah, and I like that he does that early dolphin slash to make sure he doesn't get caught out by that. Yeah, Wade was looking for the trump, so just don't even put yourself in a situation. You know? Big neutral air from Nuggets, but it gets slotted away. Oh wow, oh, dot eyes. That was a winky face. Oh, a winky face, there you go, correct. <laughs> All right, Red Team looking pretty good right now, but the problem is like one big opening here. Oh! oh. But it's going to be Kuma's opening instead. Sweet. Yeah, almost got a double with that one. Yeah. A little closer than I would have thought. Oh, wow. He's living, though. <laughs> Kuma is alive by 161%. And now, oh. finally going to go down. Maddie getting his jump back with that platform. Very good stuff. Going to make it back onto the stage. Back throw going to be almost enough. Not quite. Oh. Good save from Lade. Maddie going real low. Probably. I know. He got that, like, probably the maximum distance on right. that one. You actually saw Fox almost going through the free fall, but they get the magnet hands. Quick restock here, one stock apiece, almost dead even. Rapid jab as well, and now the yellow team fixing their corner. Maddie G's gonna be the first one to dash in right now. Wow. I love the way they're able to play around each other's shielding though. Yeah, I was gonna say, Maddie, like, so confident that Blade was gonna follow up, put the shield up in between Peach jab, which is like, yeah. unheard of. What the heck? Come on, man. Right. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, big opening for red team here. They could probably force a 2v1 onto Maddie. Here they are. Oh, yep. And you can see they're trying to regain some stage. Yellow team is fighting their way in. Finally, they've been able to get it. And a beautiful air dodge from Maddie to make sure that he can have Kool-Aid in his corner. Oh, that's a good throw from Kuma using one of the faster ones. Oh, no if punish. He, if he does a slower one like that, it's dangerous. But... Oh, wow, big opportunity there. Oh. They're going to go for the sandwich. That should be a pass. Oh, he just passed so late. He was like, dude, are you going to run up enough to match or what? Exactly. But they end up getting the stock regardless. Yellow oh. team trying to take it away now. Take back here. Knocking Nuggets off stage. Oh, my God. Oh, you Nuggets, but how many pieces are you? <laughs> are you 5 for 20? Let's see if it's enough to feed the family I'm right saying, now. right? Oh. You got to. Oh. Over here, back here is good. Uh oh. Maddie in a rough spot, but the problem is, like, if Nuggets goes off the edge guard, he puts himself in a bad spot against right. Blade. So, what do we got here? Run up and, okay. Oh my god, there was so much his done on that. Right. Damn. All the time in the world. And that's gonna be the Maddie G Fox and the Lucina from Blade taking it 2 0. Yeah, that was, uh, I was happy with that. I, went, I saw the Maddie G uh, Wolf earlier, so I was like, true, oh, true. we got the Wolf, we got the Chrome, I think.